everybody hope you're doing well well it's january we're not going to have that much to talk about when it comes to real estate after all the real estate market doesn't start till spring right wrong the market has been bananas to start off the year now let's just start with how many sales we're seeing and these numbers are for the gta we saw six thousand 310 sales for the month of January. To give you an idea of how that compares to other Januaries in the last four years, the next highest was 4,690. We're also seeing the properties sell a lot quicker. The average days on market right now is 23 days. Last year in January, we were at 25 days, but the two years before that, we were at 31 days on average. But the thing that's really standing out is the average sale price. In December of 2020, the average sale price for a home in the GTA was 946000 In January, we've jumped up to 991000 That's a 4.7% increase in one month. Now, if you've been following the media, you'll know that most people projected we'd see a 7 to 10% increase throughout the year. We've had most of that happen in one month, the first month of the year. I don't think that this is sustainable. As we get in more inventory, this should start to balance out. At least I'm hoping it does. If we look at Toronto itself, freehold homes went up 6.5% from December to January. Again, that's a huge jump month to month. For all the talk of people leaving the city and moving out to the suburbs, clearly most of those people are not homeowners because inventory is very low in the city. If they were homeowners, we'd have more houses to sell. And the demand to buy in the city is still very high, obviously, when you look at the sales. Now, the average sale price for a condo in the GTA went from 616000 to 622000 Now, that isn't a very big jump when we compare it to the rest of the market overall, but I can tell you that the condo market is making a rebound. I sold a couple condos in January, and one of them was on the market in December, and really, we didn't have that many showings. Come January, we had over 30 showings in two days and multiple offers. So what does all of this mean moving forward? Now, if you've been following me, you probably saw my video where I said, buyers beware. I do believe that this is not sustainable. Inventory is really low right now and we are seeing some crazy bidding wars. 10, 15, 30 offers on, on almost all properties that I've went to see. That is not sustainable. So unless you really have to buy right now, be very careful, stick to your budget and don't overreact when you're in a bidding war another property will come. And if you're a seller, if you've had any thoughts of selling, listen, you should call me today because I can't think of a better market to sell your house in than right now. Message me, direct message me, or give me a phone call. I look forward to hearing from you. Remember, I'm here to make you feel at ease, informed, and confident you made the right decision. Mm -hmm.